Greetings, and welcome back everyone to Around the Clock. First off, a very huge shout out goes out to every single one of my subscribers out there, as well as anyone tuning in and listening. Thank you all sincerely for all of your support here on this channel, and with that, we're going to get right into the topic at hand. And as you all can see in the title of this video, was Doom Slayer DLC teased for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? Well, it certainly looks that way because during a recent interview with Metro Newspaper out of the United Kingdom, Bethesda's own Pete Hines, who is the Vice President of PR and Marketing, confirmed that Bethesda has contacted Nintendo about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate opportunities. He stated this guys, and I quote, We're always having conversations with, but again, those conversations wouldn't necessarily take place with me. They take place with a developer to say we have an idea for this or that and we want to do a game that is a crossover with the Switch." End quote. Pete Hines even had a short interview with the Nintendo Power podcast at E3 2019. Now let's take a listen guys. And, uh, I think folks we're going to show a lot more QuakeCon next month. Mm -hmm. I think you're really going to like where they're headed. Yeah. These Doom games do give me in a sense a bit of a Nintendo vibe and that you have taken a classic series, a classic IP and and totally changed it in, in really significant ways, but in ways that still retain the core essence of what it was at its heart. And you're celebrating a big anniversary for Doom this year as well. Yeah, this is the this is the 25th anniversary of, of Doom. I mean, it, it was not the first person sh shooter that actually goes to Wolfenstein, also an mm -hmm. id game, uh, but Doom is definitely the one that made it massively popular and and uh, and widen the appeal of it. And so it's uh, it's pretty cool to be in the midst of shipping a, a new Doom game yeah. while we're also in the 25th anniversary. And we've got a lot of stuff planned at QuakeCon and uh, who knows, maybe some more surprises for, for yeah, Nintendo it fans. It seems like you got a really special team overseeing the Doom franchise these yeah, days. Yeah, they're, they're, they're doing an unbelievable job. And I, I think that was a, a great way to put it, kid, that they, they have retained a lot of the soul and essence of Doom. And as you all can see in that short interview clip, it even seems that Pete Hines is hitting at some surprise at QuakeCon with Nintendo. And to add even more to this, Reggie fils the man himself before his retirement from Nintendo, has stated officially to The Hollywood Reporter about the chances of Doom Slayer being a part of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. He stated this guys, and I'll quote, I personally have not been involved in those discussions, but as I have talked to Mr. Sakurai and others in the development area, I have never heard of a story where we've been turned down as we pursued a particular character." End quote. And everyone, this would certainly be huge if Doom Slayer was a part of the fighter's pass for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And there's one last thing that we do have to keep in mind. Because at the beginning of this year of January 2019, Forbes Magazine officially reported leaked data mine information on four of the DLC characters for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And those characters are Ryo Hayabusa from Ninja Gaiden, Steve from Minecraft, Erdrick from the Dragon Quest series of games who has already been confirmed, and Doom Slayer from Doom. Now everyone, at this point, we all know that Erdrick is in the game along with Banjo-Kazooie, and there's only two more slots left officially for the Fighters Pass for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, so that leaves us with the chances of Doom Slayer, Steve from Minecraft, and Ryo Hayabusa. Now it's no telling if any of these characters will actually be in the game at this point, we have no official word from Nintendo. But as Masahiro Sakurai has stated in many interviews, that the characters in the Fighters Pass for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate will be huge franchise characters that everyone loves and no one expects to see. So we will have to wait for the official word. Alright everyone, that's gonna do it for this video. What are your thoughts on Doom Slayer DLC possibly teased for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? Please let me know down in the comment section below. As well as, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you don't miss out on new daily Nintendo news content here at Around the Clock, where here we focus on Nintendo gaming news around the clock. Catch you guys in the next one.